How are you a loser, my love? Chief Ilodibe was brilliant in his speech. There is war in the palace. War between reality and class maintenance. War between love and lust for materialism. Chief Ilodibe has set the record straight. Reality won. Love won. I understand all of what you just said. I do. But what about me? And what about the queen? What will she think of me by now? You don't have she should think. She will think I bewitched you. And how is that supposed to affect your happiness in this palace? How? She would say you bewitch me. Did you bewitch me? Just overcome it and let's get over this. I did not see this coming. But thank God for giving Chief Lodibe the wisdom to do what he did. from you because you've already proven who you are. A bloody schemer from the pit of hell! How could you pull such stunt on my intelligence? What makes you think that you will marry my son through tricks and deception? Oh mom, will you stop with this unnecessary ranting? This is my wife, the woman I already got married to. The woman you were planning to make the CWO president. The same woman you handed the gift of the ancient gold. Stop calling her names and stop bringing extreme dimensions into this. I love this woman and there is nothing you can do about it. Are you this heartless? Have you seen what you've turned my son into? He has lost his senses! She hasn't turned into anything! And I have not lost my senses. My senses are intact. I strongly believe that she will take in very soon. And I hope she bears me a son. Let the gun salute and the sound of the ikulu judge her when that son arrives. This useless girl here will never get pregnant in this house. Not to talk of the gun salute and the sound of ikulu. She will never get pregnant. Mark my words. I said so. She hates me even more than she ever loved me. Listen to she me. hates me! So, as it stands now, there are four authorities in this palace. My father, the king, is the head of all principalities, authorities, and powers. My mother, who just acted up, is an authority. I, as the heir to the throne, I am an authority. And by virtue of being my wife, you are an authority. So don't let my mother intimidate you. <laughs> you are just as important. Yeah, I must agree. He rejected me. But looking at the extent he went to get the one he loves, I must tell you, babe, I respect him the more, and I hold him in high esteem. Are you serious? Hmm? Do you know I am really stunned with your understanding? Because I was expecting you to get mad at him, just to get I am him. not a sadist, my dear. <laughs> I love them, I must admit. But we're not meant to be. The one he finally married is his wife. And we must respect her office as the next queen of this land. Respect her office? When the news is everywhere that the queen ordered her out of the palace. Sincerely, I don't want to talk about that woman. You know, the same woman you preached to high heavens last day. She's still domineering for my liking. I'm happy the way things went. If I had married the prince, I would have given her the hell that she deserves. <laughs> oh 
my god, this is unbelievable. Seriously, I wish the queen is here to listen to what you just said. The middle I flew in the palace. I'm happy she learned her lessons the hard way. Oh. <laughs> what a word. Your Highness. I feel very nervous when I get such a message from the king. Why are you bringing royalty to Ridico? I don't understand, Your Majesty. I don't understand you either. You are beginning to bring out some strange characters I never knew you had. What do you mean by characters? Like calling Chief Lodi, for example, to one him. How could you have done a thing like that? The role he played for our son should be applauded. Applauded, you said? That he brought a nobody that skimmed her way into the heart of the king and I should applaud him? Do you know why I called you into the throne room? Take a look around this place. Look. Feel the sacredness of this venue. Realize on where you are. Look at me in the face and tell me what you want. Simple. I want you to use your power and annul this marriage. This marriage was anchored on tricks, manipulation, and unprecedented deception. Can you listen to yourself? Can you hear yourself speak? The same marriage that was sealed with the rights of our and the kingdom is the one you stand here to tell me to dissolve? I don't want you to push me to the point that I cannot take. Oh, look at it. Even my husband is not angry with me. Just because of that witch. Don't give me that crap. She is not a witch. Listen, let me settle this immediately. I like that girl. The fact that she's from a poor background does not change the fact that she is a normal woman. Learn to live with that. Don't push me. That girl skimmed her way into this palace. It could be said that she married our son by tricks. She tricked us all. And by the federal law, that is a criminal offense. In this kingdom, evil deceit is held as witchcraft. Your Majesty, you have fought tooth and nail to uphold the laws of this kingdom. What she did with the assistant of Chief Ilodibe is against the laws of this land. Why are you undermining the law? Remember what Chief Ilodibe said? Many families try to conquer love. In the process, they conquer themselves and end up in bondage. In the bondage of that same love, they set out to conquer. Love conquers all. I do not want to be conquered by love. I do not want to be in bondage of love. Allow her enjoy her marriage. Not happen. I strongly believe that she will take in very soon, and I hope she bears me a son. Let the gun salute and the sound of the ikulu judge her when that son arrives. This useless girl here will never get pregnant in this house. It's a dream. 
they are dreaming. They are dreaming. Hello? This is Katsuki's calling. I've made significant progress in the task of making your daughter-in-law the CWO president. I don't know why you have not called as promised. Katsuki's cancel everything. Cancel everything? How do you mean? That girl is a schemer. She cannot leave the CWO. I'm so sorry for all the moves I made to make her the president. I'm so sorry about that. Cancel everything! I truly do not know what to do again regarding the Queen. My presence irritates her. I don't even know what approach to, to use and make her begin to see me again as her daughter-in-law. If you listen to me, my dear, do not worry about her. My father is the head of this household. Once he's happy with you, you are covered. It's easy for you to say that because you're not in my shoes. She is my mother-in-law. I never envisaged that I'll be married and I'll be having serious problems with my mother-in-law. You don't have any problems with her. She's the one who has problems with herself. It is the will of God that you and I are man and wife today. Let's forget about my mother and talk about ourselves. Yesterday, you said something about the gun salute and the sound of the Ikolo. What does that mean? It is believed that the arrival of the heir to the throne will bring cleansing to the land. And that cleansing will expose all evil. How? I mean, what connection does that have to do with the sound of the Ikolo and the gun salute? Let's assume you have a son for me. That son becomes the heir apparent to the throne and will reign as king after me. Mm -hmm. Tradition holds that that child will not die until he sits on the throne. Even if he's involved in an auto crash or a plane crash and every other person dies, he still will not die. That surely sounds like a fairy tale. I, I mean, how is that possible? When the heir to the throne arrives at the palace, there shall be gun salutes. And then the Ecolombateze sounds. That sound will summon everybody to the palace. Mm -hmm. That sound will also ensure the spirit of the newborn child in the abode of the ancestors. Tradition holds that by that he will not die until they make him king. And even when they make him king, he still will not die until he brings a son into the world to reign after him. It's a very weird story. So how, how is the arrival of my son going to judge me? Once the child arrives the palace, it's assumed he brings cleanse into the land. And if you did anything evil to get me married to you like my mother alleged, you will confess. A day when I shall have no confession to make because I did nothing wrong. I know. You 
don't have to tell me, my queen, for I know. I can't believe that a senior officer like you is overworking yourself over what a confused woman said. Can you listen to yourself? If not for the king, I would have dealt with that woman. She is the original problem in that palace. And still, she does not want to stop. She's only trying to protect her She's son. She's not protecting her son! Flora, how can you say a thing like this? She's only bringing royalty to public ridicule. I understand that she did her all she could to stop her son from getting married to the poor girl. Now they are married. And she understands all that's happened. Why can't she let a poor girl enjoy her marriage? Why? But that's not enough for you to refuse your food. Please, my love. I made a very delicious meal. Not now. I just lost my appetite. Not now. Please. Come on, please. I humble myself before the Queen. Please listen to me. You don't need to explain anything. Your presence alone irritates me. Please, Your Majesty. I am not as evil as you see me to be. I am innocent. It was the Prince that planned everything. And I couldn't help but follow all of his instructions because I can't find myself refusing him anything. If you want me to believe that you're not a schemer, then leave this palace that you entered through the tricks of Satan and go back to that your cursed family. Go back to that useless Uchi Obielika that introduced as the head of your family and wait until my son comes to marry you properly. But I am already married to your son, your majesty. And you already accepted me as daughter-in-law. You even went further to give me the gift of gold. I love your son and he loves me. Oh, you shut up. What do you know about love? And why do you parade yourself as married? Married from where? Oh, from the house of Air Commodore Ilodibe, who introduced you as a Nuche, his last daughter. Why are you even reminding me of what I've forgotten? Your interest to this house was based on tricks and I will never accept you as a daughter-in-law in this house. I humble myself before the Queen Mother. We shall live long, Your Majesty. Why are you here? I'm here for her, Your Majesty. The King wants to see her. For what? I don't know, Your Majesty. He didn't tell me. I surely cannot question the king on why he sent me to get someone. <laughs> Don't even in your wildest dream think that you can bewitch my husband with that witchcraft in you. He is the head of principalities and powers in this land. If you think that you can bewitch my husband, if you try it, I will kill you with my bare hands. Did you hear me? by the throne. Think of honor of serving the king and not the burning anger of the queen mother. Let us go. My 
prince, I see it as an honor that they chose this land for that project. Please try and convince the king. They, they can build up to 500 housing units in, in two years. That is something. You know, on face value, this proposal is good. Yes. But as a lawyer, I will need to study it further. I will need to study it thoroughly so as to be able to understand every part of it. I cannot advise the king on what to do at this moment until I've studied it. Okay. When are we looking at? Uh, just give me a week. I'll, I'll call you. Well, that's okay by me. I'm waiting for your call. Okay. Eh? I'll see you later. I enjoyed the opera so by Ed last night. I asked and I was told you are the one who cooked it. So I called to know if I might uh, enjoy something similar from my wife's son again this night. Your Highness, you don't have to say it twice. It's a big honor to cook what the king will eat. I already told my husband that we don't even need a cook in this palace. I am here and I can cook everything that we eat. <laughs> there are so many things you don't understand, my dear. In this palace, we receive a lot of visitors and there is no way you can cook for them all. You are a wife, not a staff. Well, the cook can be instructed to cook for events and, and visitors while I cook what we eat on a daily basis. I don't mind. Settled. I will give you instructions today. In fact, from now on, you are the one that must cook all the food that I eat. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. I'm quite humbled. You're welcome. Excuse me. Hey, come back, my dear. You are here by an act of God. To them, it was a game. And it was their game that brought you here. But I see it differently. How else can you explain the fact that the queen of all people could not recognize the very same girl she chased out of the palace? It was God that made it possible. Keep believing in that God. And he will never abandon you. Um, here. Wipe your tears. Thank you. You're welcome. God is still God. Thank you, Highness. Are you sizing me up? No, feel free. Enjoy your optical freedom, Melody Whitbar. So, what exactly do you do for a living? Oh, that. If you must know, I am managing my father's rice mill. And this rice mill I am talking about has six sound milling machines that drop an annual turnover of six million naira. I don't care, I'm not greedy, so I'm okay with the money, I'm not bothered. So, what plans are you making as a man to invent new ways of making money? Or do you intend forever to rely on your father's will to survive? Melody Wheatbar. Tell me. Why are you asking me personal questions? Is there something you want which you are not telling me? No, feel free, don't be shy. You're not going to answer them? Bella the Witch I understand how you feel. 
but I'm going to sort you out. By the time I take you inside my room, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about me. I'm going to unleash my autobiography. This room I'm talking about is air conditioned and it has like 82 inches orthopedic foam for your comfort. You know, some people in my office said you're a clown. I'm beginning to see the clown for real. <laughs> you see, Jerry represents many things to many people. But you can only be a witness if you can test the sweetness of Jerry. So relax, let's go inside the room. Let me show you how hot I am. That's the clown talking. What? What you? What you take me for? Huh? You think I'm one of those girls you deceive with ease? Why are you asking me to your room? What is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong with you now? I don't like this. Why are you making me look like a quack doctor? I'm not a quack doctor. I've given you all sorts of injections. I've given you chloroquine. I've given you paraquine. I've given you atisunet. Combined with metacalfrin, plus or minus the enamaka wire of antibiotics. It's not working. What type of girl are you? If you had known you were not going to follow me into the room, why did you come now? I don't like this. Jerry, I came here to sort you out. Take a good look at me from my head to my toe. An award-winning radio presenter to be taken by a Casanova like you? You are not serious. Yes, oh, yes. Um, and Mel, dear, uh, why your body be hot? Relax. Don't mind me, though I'm hot tempered. You need to understand. Uh, you will not blame me. I was only trying to, you know, I was only trying my luck. You know what they say, there is no harm in trial. So, but as it stands now, there is no problem. From my church mind, Let's go, I'll show you around. I'm sure you will see a room you will like. I will not just stay there for free. I will not even collect pink over from you. Just to show you how philanthropic I am. Jerry, I don't think I'll be able to live under one roof with your kind of character. No! Have you checked yourself up? It's written all over you that you're a rapist. And I, I don't want to be raped, okay? Listen, don't bother yourself. Find another place to rent. Please! Look at this girl. We are in sugar now. Okay. 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 I give you a comfortable apartment. You are doing it. Huh? 24 inches mattress. Head condition. Rejected it. You are forever in the future. Yes, fellow, the sweet bye. The sweet voice on the radio, the angelic moment. Bye. I love your program. Oh, keep it up. Keep it up. I know soon you'll be giving an award. Ijoma. Who is she? Your girlfriend? Ah uh ah. -uh. Girlfriend the what? This is Melody Wit. Don't tell me you don't listen to radio. That was Melody Wit by the presenter of Angelic Moment. The girl with the voice that can raise the dead. You should, you should know Melody with by now. I listen to her program on radio. She's the one. You know her. Ah, this is Jerry now. Jerry knows everybody. Everybody knows Jerry. We just finished that interview. So she just left. Wow. Yes. That's big. She came to interview you in your house? Hey, Joma, don't tell me you are looking down on Jerry. I'm a man in authority. You should know that now. This is Jerry. I'm a man in authority. I know people. <laughs> I'm a man of timber and caliber. You should oh. know now. <laughs> what kind of authority? Don't tell me that you've been... Shh! My dear Ijob. I know what you want to say, naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not what you think. But I want to prove to you that we did not do anything. When you check the frequency of what I will do to you, now to confirm. So let's go. Let me carry it. <laughs> you mean, you. Yes. 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 Yes.
I sincerely do not know where I went wrong. Okon, your hired hand from Aquaibon has been the one cooking what we ate. I can't remember the last time you cooked in this house. Has it gotten to this that you're not questioning what I do? I am not questioning what you do. I am only surprised that you are angry that I asked her to cook what we eat. What you eat, Your Majesty, not and never what I eat. I've warned her never to get involved with what I eat. What exactly do you want? This young girl who is married to her son is from this soil. I have tasted her food and I can confirm authoritatively that she cooks much better than Okon, your hired hand. Why do you hate your own sister so much? Simply because she comes from a poor family. Your Majesty, has she bewitched you to this level? But you're not whipping up sentiment to weaken me. Why can't you just call a spade a spade in this house anymore? And why do you want us to have problems over this issue? Listen, if you do not want to eat her food, avoid her food and get to court to prepare what you will eat. I have entrusted her with what I eat. This is my decision. And I do not want to discuss this issue any further. You can come in whenever you want. I'm losing grip of my husband. Who prepared this charm for her? As she's using on the two men in my life. I humble myself before the Queen Mother. Shall live long, Your Majesty. I came to put off the light. Collins, tell me, have you been eating food from the new wife? Yes, of course, I have. In fact, I ate her vegetable soup this night that she cooked with stockfish and snail. What is your impression about her cooking with that of her corns? And now that you ask, Your Majesty, Sincerely speaking, I think Okon should be fired. He's simply an idiot. Yes. And what do you mean by that? Your Majesty, Okon doesn't know anything. The same ingredients we have in the kitchen that he has been cooking with is what a new wife cooks with. Now we know he has been cooking nonsense. Her food is class compared to what Okon cooks. I recommend a sack for Okon. I can go and tell him that and we did not like out of my sight. Your Majesty. I can stay back and put If you don't leave, you get yourself fired. Get out! Good night, Your Majesty. You are simply a disgrace. Yes! It's about time I told you the truth. What is come over you? Eh? Am I the one I'm talking to like that? Why wouldn't I talk to you like that? Eh? All your life, we are just showing wickedness of unto you, of your mind. In your mind, you thought you were limiting her. You had all the concentration upon your child. That's your daughter. The only daughter you gave to me. Are we not in this together? Why exclude yourself and single me out for blame? Listen, let me tell you. It's buta sekenas. It is a big lie. Uncle Because I wanted to train that girl in the university when she passed her O level and jump, but you refused. All you wanted was for her to hawk around your kerosene. That's all. Today, where is she? She is going to be the next Lola. The prince is already making her his wife. Where is your daughter? She is roaming about the whole of Abadani. Cheaply used by all the useless men. Enough of this rubbish! Enough! Why are you embarrassing yourself? Give her Ali Ali What is this? It shall speak out! God will surely bless you for finally standing by the truth. You should seek the face of God. You are not just embarrassing yourself, but God Himself too. Mama, Mama, climb down the ladder and face your family. Oh, what have I done to you? God will judge you. God will judge your eyes and nose. You, this woman. What did I do to you? Eh? You are embarrassing 
yourself, not me. Look at the time you are climbing the ladder. Eponsu, you don't want to face your family. You are not praising my husband. Possibly because you want to kill him like he killed your own husband. But I won't allow you. No, not into my inside my family. You won't succeed. Mama Maki, you won't succeed. You only to a Ghana. Go down from Ghana. Each year, leave her to insult herself. The child you practically turned into a slave is today the upcoming queen of Abadana. You should hide your face in shame. Mama, I can hide your nose in shame. Go to your house. You will fall from that gather. Let's be talking. Talk to me. Say again. I talk, to you about, I talk to you about what? I can't tell you. Eh? I know of you. Oh, why you have got to say you feel more if you may? Okay. What did I know if you feel? I know if you feel Job, you know, sometimes I don't understand you. We were just inside enjoying ourselves. You started dressing up. I said maybe you were in a hurry to go home. We are here now. You are still talking. Okay, for name is Cherry. I just needed you to tell me what exactly you're doing. I mean, what exactly are you doing with me? I don't understand. Are you talking about what we just did or what we've been doing? At least you go to Pukwagi. That is what we've been doing. Are you sure you don't know? I come here every day. Yeah. And you rush me into your room. You push me into your bed. Is it all of it? I mean, what are we doing? What are you doing with me? Joma, wait. I understand where you are going. I'm not a small boy. Don't make me look like I'm a small boy. Jerry is not a small boy now. Huh? Don't worry. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very tired. You think it's easy to go like four, five, six weeks ago? I'm very tired. I need to shower, you know, rest, regain my strength. I'll relax and explain everything. I will explain, I will explain what we're doing. You know, he's a family man. Really dedicated, it's not something you stand up and talk about. Are you sure you're not just trying to avoid the question? Why would I do that? You know I love you very much. Okay. In fact, my love for you can even make a dead man resurrect. You know that now. I love you. I've never loved any girl in this world the way I love you. You are just the type of girl I've been looking for in my life. That is why I said, relax. If you want me to just tell you what we are doing, I can just say it. But as Jerry, I'll relax and they think about it. When you come, I'll tell you. And you see, you'll enjoy whatever I'll tell you. Okay, okay. Come here, come here, come <laughs> here. <laughs> okay, okay, enough of it. Mm. Just go in, get dressed. Because this time around, you're taking me close to my village. <laughs> you think that is a problem? It is not a problem. You are just talking as if I'm not proud of you. You know me now. If you want, I can carry you at my you back. Just go. I can't see you, Daddy. Just to tell you. No, you see. Uh, let me bring my shell. In fact, I will see you up to the <gasps> Go. And your auntie or mother will see me today. <laughs> mother, I can understand if you asked her not to go near your meals. Fine. But telling her not to use the kitchen is absurd. You know she's the one who cooks the food my father and myself eat in this palace. So if she doesn't go into the kitchen, how would we feed? This is why I said we married a liar and a schemer. How? Are you going to deny you didn't tell her that? Because Collins confirmed that what was reported is the truth. I told her not to use my kitchen in the absence of my cook. And who is a con to be detailed to monitor my wife? Remember, I am the one who pays his salaries in this palace. And I can decide to fire him tonight. No, Nabife, you can't. Aside from being a cook, he's my manager. Especially in this area where all of you are falling victim to Gemma's witchcraft. He's the only one I trust. Mother, do you realize you're just one person? What's the meaning of that? You are the only one defending Okon. Every other person in this palace is sick and tired of him. How do you think you can impose him on all of us? 
If you must forget everything, don't forget the fact that I still remain the Queen Mother in this palace. My word is law. Don't push me beyond my limits. And if you forget everything, Mother, do not forget that. Despite the fact that you're my mother, I am the Crown Prince of Abaddon. And my word is equally law. I want us to define our boundaries in this palace and stick to them. Now, you say. Who has done this to me? What is going on in this house? She's taking this on her. She's back with it. Mama, the man. Pop, see my daughter. <laughs> Come back here! Where are you coming from? I said come back here and kneel down! Why will I kneel down? What did I do? Why will you hate me? Have you seen the response this useless fool is giving me? Have you seen what this thing you call my daughter is telling me? You should leave me alone. I'm not a slave in this house. Where are you going? I said come back here! Have you seen this thing you call my daughter? Have you seen what she's doing? She's no longer your daughter. She's not my daughter. Please. You talk one to one. Can you imagine? What did you do? You're asking me what did I do? What did I not do? Tell me, what did I not do? This is what you You don't do something like this. Eh? Why are you searching her bag? What are you looking for? My friends, I am not happy that you confronted her on the issue. Because I sincerely don't have a problem with the others she gave. No, do not say that. Don't say that, my love. Who is going to supervise my wife? He does not supervise me, my prince. He just, he just stays there in the kitchen while I do my thing. That's the part I don't get. You are my wife. You have same rights as my mother. Why would she ridicule you by asking Okon to stand there and monitor what you do in the kitchen? I don't have a problem with it. But I do have a problem with it and it has to stop. My prince, please. I'd really like you to rest this matter. Please. Besides, Okon is loving it. He is so excited, he even confided in me that he has learned some new things. <laughs> my wife is talking like a wife. My mother does not act like a wife. She's playing politics with you. I don't have a problem with it. It's alright. Let's not discuss this. I do not shy away from politics. I will tell her I am a man with authority. <laughs> Good morning, my prince. Your reign shall be great. Thank you, Kun. But I'm not cut out for all these protocols now. I want to ask you some very sincere questions, and I'd appreciate if you answer me with all sincerity. I'm listening, my prince. Since you started working in this palace, have we denied you anything? Never, my prince. I am happy with my job. That is why when my mother found me a job in Tenaba Hotel Resort, I refused to go. I know you love your job. And I would not want for you to lose this job. What happened, my prince? Have I done anything wrong? Please correct me and I will change immediately. If my wife asks you to leave the kitchen when she's cooking, do not stand there moping at her. I know the queen gave you an instruction to stand and watch her and monitor her when she cooks. But as it stands now, that instruction is null and void. 
she is my wife and she has the final decision. It is her responsibility to make the food I eat. If you want to remain in this palace, earn your salary and other fringe benefits. Do as I have said. Disobey me and you will see me. <coughs> Why are they making things difficult for me? The queen will say a different thing and the prince will say something else. What's all this? That's because your cassava filled your own brain has not told you what is right. You need to obey the one that pays your salary. Understand one thing. He's keeping you here simply because he wants to be here. Why won't people are known to be very, very intelligent? To use your quiet one brain and do what is right and don't tell me to explain for them. One more thing. Fear no one. Especially not you. I've already recommended for your sack. So if you get in the way of that lady that God is leading, you get a sack for him. So don't push it. What's this? What, what's going on here? I don't understand. Ijoma, I asked you to kneel down yesterday. But you ran out. You had the infantry to sleep out last night. Where are you coming from right now? What are you turning into? Father, I am a graduate. By October, I shall be going for my, my, my youth service. How does this concern the question I asked you? How does it connect? Father, please. You forced me into an unplanned night vigil last night. And I didn't sleep. I came back to sleep. Why are you keeping me here? Unplanned night vigil. When did you start attending night vigil, you John? By the way, which church? Which church did you attend the night vigil? Christ Embassy. Are you satisfied now? Christ Embassy. You John, when did you begin to attend Christ Embassy in this house and I'm not aware of it? You John, when? Oh, Father, this is becoming too much now. Eh? Christ Embassy is the fellowship I used to attend since. You forced me out last night. I had to go to, to, for their night vigil. Hey, What's the meaning of this? Are you, are you going to beat me because I, I went for night vigil? I opened your box and I found this envelope containing this letter. This letter is a letter your dean of studies wrote to you advising you to withdraw from school. Can you give me explanation to this? Ijoma, hey, give me explanation to this letter. Eh? Hey, Christ Embassy. Father, you, you, you went and searched my box. I said, give me explanation to this before you get Jehovah's Embassy to now and for real. Give me explanation to this. Look at it. Give me explanation to this. Hey. Ah. Hey. Easy, easy, easy. Hey. Hey. This one is the original one. All this shepe, Hi. all this rubbish now that you drink. Eh? All these things here, the things that, 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 that give you the stamina to be flogging these girls endlessly. See, let me tell you, forget about this, you know. I have to warn you because you are my friend. Be very careful. Though. This shepe, this rubbish here can damage your kidney. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Why do you like talking like Oki? Oki? No, I've been telling you, you talk like Oki of Ndo Iro. I'm serious. So you looked at me now and I look like somebody who is scared of kidney failure. Ah. I am not scared of kidney failure. Okay. I'm not even scared of dying today. Oh, oh. If I die today, Jerry is dying a happy man. Because Jerry has enjoyed all the things he needs to enjoy in this world. Do you know how many women I have enjoyed? Now the question is, how many have you enjoyed? Do you know the best I enjoyed was last night? Do you know this gear finished me last night? Are you serious? This gear came. 
Mm-hmm. My girl now, that's just fair one now. Mm-hmm. One off, one off, one off. It's one off. <laughs> I don't it's even it. know what this girl took last night. Uh, ha. She came home. She will just turn herself 360 degrees on top of me. She will just elevate herself and leave herself. She just land. Wow! I will shout. There is one style she did there. I, I do not understand this style. I said I have not seen this one before. Say, what's the name of this one? You say it's Akonyo Wetem. I'm telling you. Akonyo Wetem. Hey! 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 This is the kind of story I like I to know. hear. Do you know? Hey. Do you know when she came yesterday? You know she forced to know that time she came. Eh? After doing, eh. I can't even count how many times we did it. I decided to see this girl off. Eh. So I saw her off to the house. I came back now to sleep. Eh. But when I came back, because of the Akonyo hotel, she had this girl can come and give me this type of Akonyo <laughs> So I was just, Shepe, Shepe, was just praying though. So the spirit of Jah uh, left my house uh, to their house and caused confusion. So the mother and father started having problems with the girl. Uh, so they drove the girl oh, away. Uh, I was almost asleep when somebody was knocking on my door. Uh, I said, is it this Mpiam Piam Mo and the Piam Mad going about in the village? I opened it, was this girl. The same girl. I said, praise the Lord. I saw you tell you. know, this girl came here. Eh? Uh, Hi! Do you know throughout last night I did not sleep? Yeah, you mean all night vigil. That was what we did. As I'm talking to you, this year has drained my brain. Oh no, what's a second? I cannot even spell Obi now. Hey! I lost all my spelling acumen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of story I like to hear. I know you're useless. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder! No. See, see, I wanted to come to your house last night. Oh. No, 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 no. The thing was pushing me, pushing me. And I said, ah, what is this? Eh? Hi. Why is it that this breeze did not bring me to this side last night? Um, Edozie, hey. Edozie, I've warned you. And I don't want to keep on warning you. Eh. I'm talking this rubbish of coming to my house. Stop touching me. Are you mad? What, you've started this rubbish again, no? What is it? What is, what is my crime in making you my friend? Why would you allow me to, 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 to enjoy enjoy this life? It's your life. I'll ban you from coming to this Don't tell me this. Company. Anytime, anytime it comes to your talk to enjoy to, to that we enjoy the thing together. You, 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 you open your That's eyes. because there is class difference. There is class difference. The type of girl I bring is not the type of girl you so leave me with your stupid answer your call. Stop disturbing me. <clears throat> um Hello? Yeah, okay. Are you not coming to work? What nonsense work? What nonsense work? Eh? 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 Look at Jenny here. Eh? What does he work? See, he, he, he enjoyed the best of babes here. And you're telling me now, nah, just, 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 just my daughter. What nonsense? Hey, 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 hey. My friend, shut up. Eh? What is the meaning of this rubbish you just said now? Eh, hey, does he? Oh, oh, oh. Give me Jerry now, I can do a piano. Jerry that has six machines milling money for him every day. Eh? You're here telling me, Jerry, 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 Jerry. My friend, come here. Uh, 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 do we have any serious customers? Uh? Oh, is that what you think? My friend, come here. I have this for you. See, someone from the palace just left our workshop now. And they said they want me and you, Monage, to come and take some measurements. So I want you to leave that useless Jerry there now and come back here. Let us go to that work. Makago. Oko Makago. Ah. Uh. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm coming now. I'm coming. Okay. Stupid, sit down here. Idiot. Okay. What type of useless thing did you just tell your friend? What? Are you spoiling my name now? I, I, I told him. Oh, no, no, why are you spoiling my name? No, no, I told him the truth. Which now. stupid truth did you tell him? <laughs> what you have is grammar. Eh? The only thing I know you have is grammar. That is the only thing that. No, it's not that I don't have grammar. I have, but. Uh, you know, you have this sweet mouth, this sweet mouth that you use in deceiving those girls that, 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 that made you to be flogging them mercilessly. Hey, That's what you hey, have. Lucy, are you not a carpenter? Have you seen a carpenter that speaks grammar? Don't worry, don't worry. Eh? I will see you when I Don't come. see me, oh, don't come back here. I don't need you here. I'll be very busy. I'll be very busy by the time you come back. Stupid boy. What type of rubbish is this? Small time now, you come here and rape one of these girls, so. Oh. Rapist. I know why you came to me. They told you that I'm deadly and that I can kill. They are right, but to an extent. Then, why are you shying away from the task? 
Tell me what to pay and I'll pay. The same girl I use as a slave is now married to the prince of my land and may most likely become the queen. Eh? Rule over me as the women leader. Ha, Obalum. Come when according to check, I want to cut her down. You don't understand. That girl is only the protection of the crown of Abadani. And the crown protects everybody that lives in the palace. There's nothing I can send from here that will make an impact. What are you trying to say? Eh? That I should allow her to continue rising? Is that what you're telling me? She owes you nothing. She has forgotten all the wickedness you showed on her. She's going to bless you. That is what I don't ever want to hear. Eh? She is caused from bad. She cannot bless me. She can bless you. And she's going to bless you. I want her to die. She can never be a blessing to me. I came with some money. Tell me what to pay and consider it paid. I can pay as much as 20,000 Naira. Tata. Okay. Okay. This is palace. Oh. This is. You see this thing? See this? They are wearing uniform. You see that thing? That thing that they are holding. This is called Royal Cutlass. Are you sure the person that came told you that we should come to this palace for measurement? Yeah, okay. The same guy that went in now to call the queen for us mm. is the same guy that came to the shop and called us. Why are you asking me nonsense question? You are saying nonsense question. <laughs> I don't know the kind of furniture you and I we manufacture that we impress these people here, these, these people. Because with the look of things, all their things must be imported. And maybe they are tired of using imported things now. Yeah. They now want to be patriotic and start using the things manufactured here in this country. And they did not go to Onicha. They did not go to Oka. Even Benin. Yeah? They, they, they call us local manufacturers. <laughs> Stop this nonsense now. Nah. Okay. Huh? No. See, see, see. Don't bring bad luck into this business. Oh. If you are local, if you're a local man, I am not local. I, 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 I'm telling you. I am telling you. I don't know. I'm saying it now. Nah. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Say it. I'm on video. Your Majesty. Here they are. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, hey, hey. He, 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 he said you said. No, no, you, you said. It was you. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. So, <laughs> it is here has now become so popular that he is not in the palace. <laughs> I'm a popular person. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Did you know he here has come here, Dozier? She called me a dozier, she knows me. Eh? Eh? Look at me. Very well. Mm. Do you not recognize me? <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you. I am glad you know me. You know, I am popular. That's why you know me. Look closely. Hey, 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 I am talking to you and you are walking away. You are walking out of me. Yeah, in that Yeah. Oh, Guinea. Why did you? What is it? Why are you blocking my path? Do I have any business with you? You cannot tell me that you have not seen me before. See, my name is Yedosia. I am a confirmed troublemaker. See, the highest you can do is uh, to go, 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 go and call police. And they will come and arrest me. And put me in the cell. And I will come out again. If I come out, trouble continues. Hey! Oh, oh, what do you want? Yeah. Eh, Emma eh, 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 
just quietly. No. Follow me to that bush, that farm. At the back of that farm there. I've already arranged where it will happen. Follow me quietly and give it to me. You know what I mean? Oh, I will, I will drag by force. Drag you forcefully and take it by force. I said this, I said this. Hey, 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 I am sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't, forgive me. Please, beggar, 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 no talk. Just beggar, no talk. Quiet! <laughs> Your Majesty. Don't be stupid now. Hey, hey, I didn't send for you so I can send you off to jail. I'm not that sort of person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. 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 First and first. Umana ni ibu kulunade ibu baji oku. Whatsoever that has brought you here will be discussed after the colour Okay, I've taken the colour note. Speak to me. Mwonde mbona ndege desi noja guanyoku. The spirit of our ancestors have been speaking to us. Cola not. And that makes cola not bigger than what you look at it to be. I wish you could just go straight to the point to what brought me here. And cola not is not a problem and will never be. And Abana Abana, I watch them be sacred. You have a bane. You don't rush the licking your fingers because you are not going to hang them in the roof. I am the chief priest of this land. Even your husband, the king, cannot pressurize me. I am going to talk, but I will do that at my own time. This whole thing is like a dream to me. Yeah? She was walking crazy when I met her. What is it that happened to her? That in less than two years, she stayed like away. Yeah? If I were you, I would not say what. You made an attempt to read that woman. That is a criminal offense that's supposed to send you to prison. Please, can you help me tell this idiot that I cannot go to jail because I did not succeed? Can I have a moment of quietude, please? You two are not supposed to be arguing. Oh. Especially you. You are supposed to be sober. You are stupid. God bless you. God bless you. This idiot here should be sober. Well, he has refused to be sober. And that's why despite all our daily level, nothing is working out in that office in our life. I get your majesty. Five hundred thousand naira <laughs> each. Only by the token of appreciation, as approved by my husband, to show our gratitude to you, mainly to you, 
Hopefully you remember the day you almost dragged me into the bush to rape me. And how a car almost ran me down. Well, the driver of that car was the prince. So you see, that race you triggered with all the criminal intentions attached to it landed me here. I spoke to my husband about you and I also told him the role you played and he asked that I bring you here and give you this. Oh, Why did you collect my money? Eh? Did I hear you say your money? Give me my money now. No, 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 no. See, this idiot here has no he, he has no reason to benefit from this business. We really wanna wanna drag the move. Business. Oh, what business? No, 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 no. This good woman called us here to bless us. You're just putting your wickedness into it. Imagine your life. To bless us? Will you be able to take and move? Yeah? Hey, Dossier. Yeah, bless us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Now. There is more where that came from. Convince me that you are now a changed man. Mm -hmm. And perhaps I can get my husband to give you more. I am a changed man. I, 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 I have changed. I am now a new man. Laye, laye. <coughs> Your Majesty, this Jawuda here, Kerimgo, has not changed. This Jawuda, you've not. Stop it! 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 Stop Criminal. Where is the good woman? You are a fool. Thank you. You expected her to stay here and watch your display of shame? You're stupid. No, oh, you stupid. Idiot. Quiet! Boy, it was not the Quiet! Boy, food the neighbor, Your Majesty. Before I came, I thought of it several nights, and I knew that is something you can do. Why are you not doing it? Yes, I am not doing it because you are begging me of what is beyond my power and mandate. I am simply the chief priest of the land. That's what makes you the spiritual advisor to the king, my husband. Obuefi, I want you to tell the king to annul that marriage. That that maiden will destroy the palace. Are you are you trying to bribe me or something? No. Don't call it bribe, Obuefi. <laughs> One must be able to feed from the office he occupies. I agree with you, Your Majesty. But now when it includes me lying in the name of the gods. Obuefi, I'll give you 300,000 Naira for you to come and tell the king that that maiden will destroy the palace. I can see that you're not impressed with the amount. Okay, I'll give you half a million. 100,000 Naira. It will go a long way for you to finish this building that has remained like this for years. I want that maiden to leave the palace. Hey! 
Awara o ku bi eza muta mo ne namu. Nka man ge ri jo for that you every morning man na ro ben. Now listen. Even if you give your two kidneys on a platter, I will not ignore the anger of the gods by telling lies against them. It could happen in another land, not in Agbadale. If that maiden is evil, wait and watch. Her evil will fish her out. The ancient port of of, of Agbadani is now in the palace. Therefore, no evil will survive. Hey! I don't know what actually pushed me to such a loss. And I found this letter. I was stunned by the content of this letter. So, why did you send for me? Um, it's your mama, please don't be offended. You are the only one of Abadani that works in that university. Please, is the content of this letter real? It's real. But I always mind my business. I kept quiet all this while, being optimistic that one day this moment will come when the truth will prevail because you cannot hide the truth forever. But you remember you are talking as if you know exactly what this letter is talking about. But please tell me. I want to know. Please. Um, the dean wrote the letter. I also know why the dean wrote it. It's your Maya daughter that you smuggled into the university was an empty vessel and so the dean advised her to leave the university and that was um, about three years ago three years ago three years ago so she has not been a student for the past three years but i was paying her school fees you know Akasia, we are not the only man in this dilemma so many families are passing through this, just like we are passing through it. They keep paying the school fees of their daughters and even their sons that are not admitted in any school. She was admitted. Her admission letter was sent to us here. She was admitted. Of course, she was admitted. But when she woefully failed the 16 courses she took in her first semester, the dean advised her to leave because the university is not a place for dollars. Hey! She didn't fit into the system. Hmm. Madam, you were aware of all this. Why didn't you tell me? We are brothers. We are brothers, yes. But like I said, I always mind my business. She's an empty vessel. Don't worry, hey. hmm. hey. So don't blame the system. See, Jerry, eh? You see this Edozi, eh? Edozi is so wicked and evil. And I'm going to so deal with him in our union. It, he will think of committing suicide. It is your father that is wicked and evil. Mm. It is all the members of your family that will commit suicide. Who does this? You idiot! Look at you! See, I was the person that made the move. You understand? Look at this guy, this idiot. I remember that he even he, he even placed a curse on me when I was trying to rape that girl. Now the now that money money is involved, my pussy is why would you talk to the money? Why would I touch the money? Huh? See, see, it does it. I've warned you several times. If you are talking, learn how to control the movement of your hands. What do you like a support child mother? You won't you won't understand. Eh? What nonsense? See, two of you, in fact, you are trying to cause problem to my hypothalamus. Hmm? Eh? Hey, eh, yes, now hypothalamus. Are you trying to tell me that it is the same girl two of you connived to rape that is sharing money like Obuago of OKTT? Also them but I, I, I am telling you what we experienced today. I'm telling you. Hmm. See, she don't give me half a million. Hey! <laughs> And I have deposited my own in my bank account. Hey! And she only gave me half a million. And this idiot here, this Jagoda, 
had the guts to tell her to her face that she would not give me money. What kind of nonsense? No, what I say it? Why you want to pay the bush? Why will you say it? What? You want to go? Ah, you want to? What rubbish? What rubbish? What is this? What is it now? Must I die in our mother the kingdom because because I met a girl? Why can't she leave me alone? You people should tell her to leave me alone, you. What rubbish? What are you doing here now? What rubbish is this? Jerry. What are you talking about and who is the girl you're asking to leave you? Look at this idiot! Oh. Look at this stupid idiot! Eh? Who else do you think I'm talking about if not you that cannot leave me alone? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Have I committed any crime in knowing you? <laughs> Have I committed any crime in asking you out? Easy, easy, easy. Let me ask you, sir. When I met you, were you a virgin? Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Were you a virgin? Hey, Kutu! No, I'm asking you, answer me now! You are not a virgin! Then why do you want to crucify yourself around me? Am I the only person in our land that has pointed nose? Am I? What is it? Jerry. What is it? Leave me alone! You see me you're talking to? See, you're, you're stupid though. Let me tell you, let me even tell you, Joma. You are the cheapest girl I've met in my life. Ah, hey. you? Ah, go, go, go! Hey! Ah! Oh, why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm just trying to sort you out. What type of girl are you? Get on memory. You've never resisted me. Ekudu. As a girl that was trained very well, you don't have elasticity. Hey! You have lost elasticity. Once I take you to the bed and put you to the bed, you open your Bermuda Triangle. Hey! You, eh? you, 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 you open it. Look at these two, 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 two boys. Hey, the same girl they off. try to rape is now the person sharing money to them. And we are here, causing problems to my life. Don't get away from here. Get away, pop fire! Wait, wait. Point of correction. Point of correction. Before she leaves with the impression that I'm a, I'm a rapist. Jerry is wrong to say that we planned to rape. I am not a rapist. I have not done that before and I can never be a rapist. Uh, those days, the only rapist I know. If you don't leave now, he may rape you too. You idiot! Seeing the cheap as you are. Jerry has said it, that you're cheap. Go, go, go! <laughs> go, go, just go! Uh, Nonsense! Are you this heartless? Eh? No, uh, uh, see, see, hold it there. What, what is it now? What is it? Okay, what, what is it now? What is it? Why are you questioning my pattern now? You have your own pattern. Jerry has his own pattern. Just they do your own pattern. Leave my own pattern. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. One minute. Okay. Okay. Look at this stupid girl that has got her in between her legs. Oh no, I said, trying to lure me to marry her. Do you know she was actually asking me the plans I have for her? That is what she was asking me. Am I so stupid to, to, to start off settling down with a worker? Eh? Am I? So, Melody which by. Which by? That is Melody which by. Okay, which by, not mid by. Which by, not mid by. Shut up, boy. You don't hear me. You've been chatting here. Myself and you know that. Instead, what I have chosen to do is resign myself to fate. <laughs> so remain in your university. Stay there and build your class with your poor results. While I wait and pray on my God to remember me. <laughs> I know he will remember me. <laughs> he will indeed remember you. Oh my God. She was right. God finally remembered her. I am the one who has been fooling around. Sent for me, your majesty. 
When did you join me? I don't understand your majesty. Which people did I join? That witch is cooking in my kitchen as we speak. I went in there and saw her cooking. Where were you? The order from the prince was very strict, your majesty. He said I must free his wife to use the kitchen freely or he will not transfer my son. My son said that to you? I cannot stand before you and lie, your majesty. He said I'm only allowed to cook simply for you and in occasions or when we have a large number of visitors to the palace. I'm losing grip of everything. My own son counters my instruction in this house. But, speaking sincerely, Your Majesty, the woman is good. I have tasted her food, and I can attest to the fact that she was trained by the masters. May God punish that your mouth for saying this in my presence. Get out of here, you fool! Madame Kole is here to see you. Who is your Madame Kole? The same woman that wanted to destroy our new queen. By refusing her going to the university and turning her into a hawker. Ah, oh, please spare me those useless details. What does she want? She didn't tell me. But she said she wants to see you. Listening to her and watching her countenance, I think she still hates that new queen. Should I still let her in? My lord of Whitby, I know you very well. For you to have come back here asking for the same room you rejected means you've made a decision for me. Tell me, what decision have you made? And who told you that I'll be the one to stay in the room? Are you not the person staying in the room? If you're not the person staying in the room, so, so, who are you trying to put in the room? Well, I'm getting that room for our out broadcasting technician. So, the technician you are talking about is the person a man or a lady? Come on, Jerry. Don't be ridiculous. How can a lady be a technician? Well, I'm talking about a man who works directly under me. Melody, if not that Jerry is a gentleman, I would have slapped the living hell out of you. What is wrong with you now? What is it? How can you be telling me this bullshit now? Are you for real? Yes, I'm for real! Me? Melody Whitby, of all people, you think you could slap me? Why would I slap you? Are you unslappable? No, I'm asking you now, are you unslappable? You just, you just looked at me from head to foot and, and, and you're, you're telling me you want to bring a, a man to stay with me? Do I look like gay? Do I look like a ego homo sexual? A ego homo? A ego homo? Oh, oh, oh. Jerry, <laughs> so you're actually looking for a woman you could marry cheaply, right? What makes you think you could succeed with me? You're not done. What is it? Hi, Chile. What? Oh. Ijoma, Ijo, what is it? Ijoma, what is it? Jerry. What is it now? Jerry, I need my See, money. And I'm not leaving here today without my money. See, I, I don't know what she's talking about. Though. <laughs> please, what money are you talking about? Mm, please, I am sorry for the embarrassment, okay? But you see this guy? I am going to sort him out. Why are you sorting me out? Give me my money! Give me my money! Jerry, she, give me my money! I don't know what she's talking about. Jerry! <laughs> Your stupidity is revealing the more each day. My dear, stop him out and collect your money before going. Mm -hmm. See, wait to Please. Wait, come and be the umpire here. Come, come and be the umpire. Give me my money. Why are you embarrassing me now? What money are you talking about? What do you mean by what, what, what am I embarrassing? You're embarrassing me now. Repeat what you just said. You hate her so much. But yours is not anything near to the hatred I have for her. I know so, because I have been making inquiries. So how do you want us to work together? Hmm. I win. That girl is the cat with nine lives. 
merely dissolving the marriage and sending her out of the palace will be of no use. She will always come back and your sorrows will be multiplied. You see, my dear, I sent everyone out of this house so that we can talk confidentially. But you know that my husband or my son my working on an house. So go straight to the point. My way. If you are not a warrior, you may have some difficulties doing what I am going to tell you. Say it first. You never can tell what I will do. This chair is hacker you. This is the gift given to me by Griba to Kapo. Let this thing know. What is it? Jerry, Jerry, this is not the same girl I was giving you the style of Akoni with them. Ah, so what? Because you gave me the style of Akoni with them, will I die for you? Will I die for you? What is it? Tell her to leave me now. Jerry, 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 you should fall my hand. You're falling my hand. Settle this small problem now before it becomes too easy. Okay. You are a madman. How? What is your problem? I told you, I'm not only this girl, I don't this girl, one naira. This girl is food, this girl is a young guy. What is a young guy? You are very, very, very stupid. You are very, very, very I'm foolish. Very get away. 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 I did not do anything, no. You saw what happened. I just pushed what? him. Don't do anything. Hey! I didn't see anything. Oh, you pushed Jerry for just using you and dumping you. Hey! You just killed Jerry. Yeah. No, no, no. He's not there. Just wake him up. You're here telling us he didn't do anything. Hey, Jerry! I didn't Jerry. do anything. Hey, Jerry. 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 One thing about me is that I believe in fair play. Peace is very important in every land. And here in Abadan, we are very lucky that we are peaceful. Go back to the town union secretariat and announce to the people that I, as a Natania Lolo Nyolibia, agree with their proposal. <laughs> Ndubani, has it not happened before you all? I always tell us that we have a little who understands the plight of his people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your Majesty, yes. I have heard so much about how good you are. But this is the very first time I am getting close to you in discussion on something that concerns Kingdom Revenue. And so far, Your Majesty, I am not disappointed at all. I am marveled at your humility, your leadership and sense of direction. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, on that note, I want to submit that you are going to reign forever, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> and your son here, Nabife, who has been functioning as barrister at law for the town union, he will reign after you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, G. Your Highness, now that uh, our proposal has received your royal blessing, I suggest we retire back to our secretariat and tidy the papers and present. Good. Yeah. Um, my son is already working with the town union as an attorney. Work closely with him. When the papers are ready and tidied up, bring them to me and I will endorse them all. <laughs> Ikorodike, 
Ezioku gaputa Mbwi kurugeti Onye buzo gefe lazo Mbwi kurugeti Ono duga mwamwe Ikurudike Kobodo nile neche Ikurudike Kobodo nile neche What am I saying? Oh my goodness! Akidi! Yes. This is what I want to eat. Um, wow! Your princess, this is, this is mine. Yours is right here. Yes, I know my princess. You see, um, uh, you can uh, have the royal dish. Let me eat this one. I have not eaten Akidi in years. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> my son will eat that one when he joins us. It's, it's not quite black. Please, permit me to eat your Akidi if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I can see my son is confused. <laughs> Our wife. She was just giving me a kitty. The best food a man can think of having. <laughs> Look at how you're all this. to you now she has been arrested and she is in police custody what kind of stupid talk is this who is her boyfriend that she mothered gang wolf number one the second page is this the letter i found in her box i confronted your useless daughter with that letter but she could not defend herself i had to invite ichi Omema, whom you know works in that same university she attends do you know what ichi Omema told me that your useless daughter was rusticated out of that school since three years ago and she has been collecting money from you and I, from me, in the name of paying school fees. Listen, let me ask you, where in this world have I wronged you that, that your useless daughter turned me into a police? Please let me from all this useless information. I, I, save me. Do you happen to know the police station where she's being held? Uh -huh. Hey, Judy Abang, thank God you know that you are the one that will go to that police station because I, Ilo Akasia, will not move an inch towards death. Which police station? Uh -huh. I beg you, which police station? Okay. Listen, the police station is area 14. If they allow you to bail her, that is your own business. As at now, what I am thinking is the way forward. Taking a new wife. Get that will give me a good child. Good children. Get in here, What did I hear you say? What you had is the correct thing. You had me saying exactly what I'm already planning. You are a combination of all the evil in this whole world. Okay, from what you see, where will I That is what you are. That's what I got. Okay, Ada. Yes, Ada. Yes, Ada. Yes, Ada. Come, you can look, you don't touch. I understand this is what the king was eating before he collapsed. What kind of food is this? This is Akele. It's a in Igbo land. 
so nutritious. Better than all those fats you've been feeding us with. A delicacy in the land. Yes. A delicacy in the land, and the kid you eat and collapse after eating. Please, give me a break. Okay. What are you trying to prove? That you are intelligent or smart in reasoning? Don't provoke me beyond the level I can take. Otherwise, you see the other side of me. The doctor said we should wait here while they handle this emergency. Just calm down, everything will be okay. How's it? How is my husband? We did our best. We arrived in the new record. We brought him down here, rushed him down to the diagnostic center mm -hmm. to find out what happened to him. Okay, so what, 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 what did you diagnose? What happened to him? He was poisoned. Poisoned with an unknown poisonous substance that destroyed his internal organs. <laughs> Poison. Poison. How? By who? Your mom. Please control your mom, your wife, and those people out there. See, these internal organs were completely destroyed beyond what medical science could handle. So, so what? What do we do? Uh, where is he? Can, 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 can he be flown abroad or something? We lost him. Yes, we, we lost him. How? You... What? Hey! 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 What do you mean by that? For this certain game you played that brought her into my palace. Posterity very harsh on you. What's that look on your face? What happened? I just got a call from the queen saying that the girl killed the king. I don't understand what she mean by that. What? Maybe you should call her back. Call her back and get her to explain what she meant. I don't understand this drama. What's going on? The report is that he was poisoned. You were the one that prepared the last meal that he ate. Can you now tell the elders in council that you were not the one that murdered the king? What he ate was the activity that I prepared for myself. Which I was eating before I realized his food was getting cold and I came here to call him. On getting to the dining table, he saw the akiri I was eating and he, he requested that I let him have it. In his words, he had not eaten akiri in years. Who am I to say no to the king? You're a liar. This girl poisoned my husband. My noble husband that has married me for 30 good years was murdered by this girl here. Have you seen what it cost? I found you a decent girl for you to marry. You rejected her and married this low class into this house. And now she has rendered you fatherless. Woman, what we are doing here is a spiritual exercise. And that is why we've not invited the police into this matter. Stop interfering in the process, please. Open it. Is this the same food you prepared? Yes. Yes, it is. 
and this is the food the king was eating before he collapsed and was confirmed as having been poisoned. I don't really know what happened. It all happened before my husband here. Well, okay, hold it. Look at me, eyeball to eyeball. I swear that you were not the one that poisoned the plate of arcade. Swear, swear, swear. I didn't poison the food. How could I have poisoned the food I wanted to eat? Ah. Hey, it doesn't cancel. I hope you are here with me. Yes. Okay. There's only one way out of this uh, forest of constellation. Give me that food. Now, eat this food. If nothing happens to you, after eating this food, we will be overwhelmingly convinced that the king was poisoned from another source and not from your plate of arcade. Eat it. Mm -hmm. Eat this! This is the food you cooked. Okay, we'll see there. Things are happening in this palace. There are huddles set before me. I don't even know where I have gone wrong. <laughs> but I would not eat this like it. Have I not been vindicated? My she killed my husband. I didn't kill him. If we invite the police into this matter, they will call for an autopsy. And an autopsy will open the remains of our king when subjected to medical examination. And that way tantamount to the secretion of the remains of the man that was once the custodian of our custom and tradition. <laughs> that would be an abomination that will destroy our darling. So, what do we do now? A very pertinent question, my prince. The woman that murdered the king must proceed on punishment. Yes. And never to be seen anywhere around our Badani as we lower the king in the next three days. And then they find the way forward for our kingdom. Yes. 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 And I what are you still doing in this battle? Leave this place! Now! Leave this moment! You know the gravity of your face you committed? Take her out! Leave! Do you think we are playing here or what? Why did you stop? I have a small pendant that I own. It was given to me by my mother. And it is my most prized possession. Can I please? 
Please go. Nonsense. That request is not granted. You are not to enter this palace again. Yes. Now proceed to any land that welcomes you. Now get this into your head where you will always remember. Any day you are seen anywhere in Abadani, you will be stoned to death. Now move. 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 I say move. Move straight. We're not joking. Move. If it is possible, evaporate. Move. The 17th day of November is indeed the saddest day of my life. I lost my father. Now my wife who should console me has been banished. Where did I go wrong? You didn't go wrong anywhere, my son. You didn't go wrong, my prince. The witch that came to separate us is gone. As the true member said, we will define the way forward. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. My instincts never failed me. My mind tells me she did not poison that food. I am not certain about anything, but posterity will be the church. Does it mean that the leftover aura of her witchcraft is stronger than the original. <laughs> Why is this thing misbehaving? Even now that she is gone. Devastated as you are, I did what I did because I believed you were in love. It never occurred to me that it will result in this. From the very first day I set my eyes on that maiden, I knew what she represented. But the problem with me is that I elected to use diplomacy. If I knew that she was capable of administering poison, oh God, I would have thrown her out of this house a long time ago. You see, you, you cannot blame yourself. After all, you are not God. I saw her as a young woman that was being denied of her right. So I decided to help her. I never knew I was brewing a demon. Thank God someone else has seen the evil in that girl. But my son still thinks uh, about that demon that killed his father. I don't know what she must have given my son. I don't know. Mm. I win. I believe he loves that girl. I can attest to that. 
But very soon, he will get rid of that. He must get over it. I pray. Yeah. I really pray so. to stop her. You couldn't have stopped her. No. Such, such, such intervention would have made the elders to believe that you connived with her to kill the king, your father. And that is not good for you. Do you actually think she killed the king? I have no doubt, my prince. Everything is so clear and overwhelming. This is ridiculous, Collins. She has no reason to kill the king. That is what you think. That's not what I think. I think she has every reason to kill the king. She believes that someday that your mother will convince your father to chase her out of the palace. And to stop that, she has to kill your father. To weaken your mother. I don't believe that. If she's capable of poisoning anyone, she should have poisoned my mother who has shown her so much hatred. Ah, my prince, you're not thinking. Think. She couldn't have killed your mother because your mother saw it coming. She blocked every access of her killing her. She stopped her from giving her what she eats. The only person she has access to is your father. The one that loves her. The more reason I'm beginning to believe your mother that she has a link with witchcraft. You know what they say about witches? They get to harm the people that love them the most. I can't believe you are allowed them brain wash you like this. Come on, you look in there. Where is the officer in you? Why are you sounding as if you don't understand what I said? The cross examination was handled by an experienced elder right in front of me. The same food she served the king was given to her to eat, but she refused. Would you have eaten the food if you were in her position? Why wouldn't she eat the food? If she was sure she didn't poison the food, she would have eaten it. Listen, my dear. Anyone who is surrounded by enemies must learn to guard his or her life with extreme care. That man has got compromised. And by refusing to eat the food that killed the king, they took it to her that she acted wisely. <laughs> wisely? When she has been banished from the land, can you say it like this? Banished. Banished, you said. That means she is still alive. It's better to be alive than eat the food, the compromised food that killed the king to prove a point and die in the process. One has to be alive to stage a comeback. Stage a comeback? Mm -hmm. Do you think she could stay here, come back? <laughs> I don't know what I think. Well, but that girl that lived with me for one year, mm -mm. she cannot poison anyone. We heard of the tragedy that befell the palace, mm -hmm. and we came here to console you. I'm consoled already, but I'm very happy that you're here. Linda, I'm happy to have you here. You know that my son must be married before he's crowned the king. And now that that demon that he found for himself has proven how evil she is, my son must marry you now. Awesome! Didn't you hear what she just said, Linda? Why are you not smiling? I heard her, mother. But sincerely, I am no longer interested. Did I hear you right? 
I am serious, Your Majesty. I followed up with everything that happened in the palace, and my interest evaporated. I have a man now from Enugugu, and I'm going to marry him. I prefer to be married to a man from Enugugu and be a free woman than to be married into royalty and be in bondage. Why is your daughter sounding like this? Why is she voicing the unthinkable? Please, Your Majesty, allow me to handle this. She's only a child. And you must expect her to exhibit some form of youthful exuberance and bad judgment. Please. Yeah, who is that coming? with the royal household. Thank you. You don't know how much I appreciate what you just did. I will never forget this. I am happy you've overcome what happened. Yeah, we shall bury him tomorrow. And in line with the words of Obuifia Malinze, we will define the way forward for the land. I hope the definition has nothing to do with me. Because I already told the Queen when she raised the topic that I'm no longer interested. She raised the topic. What topic is that? Topic of me becoming your wife. I have a man from Enugugu that wants to make me his wife. And I am not going to disappoint him. I have come to tell you so you don't hear it from the Queen and feel very slighted. I honestly don't know what to say. If I'm pregnant! Yeah! Pregnant! Yeah! What do you want me? Yeah! I can hear you. No. I'm not even going to go to London. Whenever problem erupts in a community, whether good or bad, it always beneficial to the others in council. Yes. And you see, remember what you are saying is a popular saying in our land. Yes. But I, I don't understand how the untimely death of our king has become beneficial to the elders in council. <laughs> I don't understand it. Ichi also, before this meeting, I had another meeting with Ichi Ogonapa and Ichi Okeke here. And we are thinking that we have an opportunity to change the royalty of our kingdom from the Oloye, Oloibeas. Yes! yes! I don't understand why anybody will come up with that kind of scheme. Is your member? Prince Nabife is now a lawyer, barrister at law, mm -hmm. who has been functioning as lawyer to the town union, and he has been doing remarkably well. I don't know that. Yes. As we speak, business is booming and the kingdom revenue is flowing. Mm -hmm. Why must we think of shooting ourselves in the leg by changing royalty from that lineage? <laughs> it will backfire. It is. Yeah. We are not the ones that will change it. Because nature itself has changed it. Oh. We are going to bury our king tomorrow. And come a man that has a wife. You see, we cannot sustain this conspiracy mm -hmm. because this will cause a serious problem in this community. My dear, I, 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 don't defend anybody, please. <laughs> we need a change in this community. Yes, we need a change. Let me let me let me just make something clear, please. Let us not waste time in this meeting because I think I know where we are where we are going. The problem here now is that Prince Nabife has no wife, right? Yes. yes. That's why we are planning to change reality. Yes. yes. No problem. I want us to leave our phones open. Before dusk, I will call off you. 
I wouldn't want to achieve by that. <laughs> Until I call you. Uh, well, uh, what, once I call you, please make yeah, yourself available. <laughs> but one thing that I want to make you understand now is before tomorrow, Francina Bifo, we have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I see. We were like one in jail. Is it possible? Who is you, the politician? I don't know why you're so concerned about this marriage. I thought you're the one getting married. We are here to bury my father, and you've already gone to make marriage proposal to the major on my behalf. What kind of reckless is this, mother? You don't understand kingdom politics. What kingdom politics and what has it got to do with this? Once they blow your father tomorrow, another will be crowned. This who? What are they going to crown? Someone who has a wife. And don't argue with me when it comes to royalty, because I've been in this thing for 30 good years. Get married and stand a chance. I'm going to have Hello. Yeah, uh, please, eh, uh, Prince Nabifa. Tell me the maiden you like most in this kingdom, and we're going to marry her for you this night. If you don't have anybody in mind, tell me also, and I'm going to arrange one wife for you. Oh, you that is not up to what I can do. Because. You must marry this night. What kind of urgency is this? How can I get married this night? Because that is the only way you can retain the crown. Some powerful elders in this kingdom are already scheming to terminate reality from your lineage. Because they said you have no wife. I want you to tell me the name of the maiden you like most. We must marry her this night. That is the only way you can retain the crown. I want to show them that I am a deadly politician. That I am the man that is behind the mask. You have any name? Can I call you back? Why not? You can call me back. Uh, but in the meantime, I I I am here with uh, Ishi Okoro, who will bring the secretary into this. The secretary must come here this this evening because this night is going to be very busy. You must have a wife now, Bania. You want to have any? Okay, thank you. My regards to the secretary. Tell him I'll call you soon. Yes, waiting for your call. Very important. Shiokuro, I understand what you mean that you have already programmed yourself for something else this night. I can excuse you from this. But please, try and send word to the secretary. Let him understand the importance of this mission. He must meet me here this evening. You can see how urgent this thing is. I'll do that. Please, I'll do that. Let him understand. Confide in me, I'll do that for you. For the camper. They are on Dara. What time the moon are on? Hey! For Ichiozo to show this level of agitation means this is a serious issue. Mm. The problem is I don't have any maiden in mind. Says who? That Linda is no longer available does not mean you don't have another. Amaka is there. She's available. We can marry her. The fruit salad, my boss. Thank you, Amaka. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Amaka. Please come back. Yes, my please. There is something going on around here and I don't like it. Something going on where? Thanks for the salad. Don't bother about the plate, I'll handle it. Good night. Good... Good night, my prince. Good night. That's not possible. The same Amaka with no character? The same Amaka that tried to seduce me in this palace? Why must she be the one? Because I trust her. The devil you know is better than the angel you know nothing about. Not just this girl, mother, not this one. Amaka is bereft of manners. Leave that angle for me, son. When she finally becomes your wife, I'll teach her these manners. Trust me. Hmm? It's okay. What was going through your mind that night you tried to seduce me? My prince, you make me shy whenever you ask me that. I was only trying to impress the one that means the world to me. I still find this hard to believe. How can we even get married at night? The 
there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. The same time we refer to as night here is day in the US. They are getting married and God is still blessing them, for he is the same God. <laughs> wow. Look at our Macau. <laughs> I never knew you were this intelligent. Well, the earlier you start seeing me as Amaka, your wife, and not Amaka, the maid, the better for us. Ah. Sam, the elders are here. I can see that both of you are getting on well. Amaka here was just explaining to me the reason as to which we could get married at night, and sincerely, I marveled. I never knew she was this intelligent. Mm. That has always been the problem I had with it. Because you always look down my judgment, and that's not fair. Amaka here is a girl that will give birth to the son, that will be accorded the glamorous respect of the gun salute and the sound of Ikolo. And not that riffraff you brought her as a wife. Mom, please. I'm sorry, but we can't do without bringing up your mind to this. Forget everything that has happened. She's still my wife. Please, can I take you to the elders? You know that. As I'll be burying your father tomorrow, I won't be able to go out this night. Better. Because you will go there and spoil things for me. Tell him I'm right behind you. Your husband is calling me a troublemaker. Make him understand that I'm a perfect judge. And a wonderful mother. I will tell him that you're coming. And she is a perfect judge. Mm. Yes. I'm a testimony to that. Come on, let's go. <laughs> with you. I can swear on my life that there's conspiracy somewhere. Uh -huh. Yes. See, that man that forgave us, called us and gave us money, can no more than anyone. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Not possible. Ah. It does I believe the same too. But the elders are insisting that the evidence against her was of a woman. Hmm? Why was she not willing to eat the same food she served? That's just my problem. Forget about the evidence against her. Yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you still remember the woman in question? Oh, I, I can still see her innocent face the day she threw, she threw her pan of grace on me and ran into prison. That man, he cannot kill a fly. He cannot hold a fly. Hold on. Bam. <clears throat> Had it been I got her number that day, that very day, eh? Uh, 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 I would have called her now to know her whereabouts. What? Eh? Eh? Call her to know her whereabouts. For, for what? Eh? For what? Tomorrow, of course. You idiot. So is it because I've been cutting a uh, wood with you? Don't you know as I will make a good husband to that good woman that has a good heart? Hey! You idiot. Hey! 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 How dare you? How dare you? Hmm? How dare you? No, no, no. So, okay. Oh, I'll go. How can you be looking for a, a, a woman that you will marry? And you have the guts to remember someone that I have already found for myself. And I'm going to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. I have a man now from Inugoku and I'm going to marry him. I prefer to be married to a man from Inugoku and be a free woman than to be married into royalty and be in bondage. What came over this girl? What came over my daughter? Mother, I don't know why you have called me here, but all I want to do is sleep. If it has anything to do with the palace, I don't want to discuss it. 
Linda, what is the problem with you? How could you reject this offer to become the queen of Akbatani? How? He made his choice and I moved on with my life. I have a man of Enuguku that wants to marry me, an established contractor, and I am not going to disappoint him because of the unfounded scandal that broke in the palace. Lequeya, unfounded scandal? What do you mean by unfounded scandal? The unfounded scandal in the sense that I don't believe that girl poisoned the king. Oh, please! How could you argue on something that happened before everybody? Why would you defend someone who was not even able to defend herself? Why? How are you sure she was even given the chance to defend herself? Mother, I don't want to go into all of this. Whosoever the prince chooses to marry, I support him. You are mad. Okay? You are mad. I'm not going to say anything to you until I see that so-called contractor from Enugoku. Even as Mrs. Ohamadike, wife of Chief Ohamadike, of all people, you are behaving like this because someone from a rich family rejected your daughter. I wonder what you would have done if you had been married to a poor man. Listen to me. Money is one thing. Contact and connection is another. And that is the point you're missing. I will not spend eternity educating you on that. Excuse me. If finally the prince is the last man on earth, I choose to remain single. Nubai, win! Yeah! Win! Yeah! Where's win? Yeah! We all know that tomorrow will be so hectic for us. I also believe that we know why we are here gathered. Therefore, I want us to go straight to the point. Makarandi bias is not knock knock who can you go now. You don't need to say it again. And Maka is the lucky one. And we are here to marry her this night. Well, that is why we are here. What's the problem? I'm not going to. Why is he living like that? No, man. Are you sure what you're saying? Call them now, you hear their voice. Call them. Who's that? Hello? 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 My name is Nabife. The phone you're holding belongs to my wife. She has been missing. Please, where did you find it? We are hunters. We found it in the bush. Where we went to hunt for uh, grass hunters. The bush. Which bush? The man asked me where we picked the food. Tell the man now. Uh, yes, now tell him. Hello? Like, how much are you going to pay us? I will pay anything, anything. I am willing to pay anything. I am a prince, the heir apparent to the throne of Abada and the kingdom. And that phone belongs to the princess of Abada and the kingdom. She has been missing. And any information on her would be very, very useful. Please, where are you guys? Hello? 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 It has gone off. Hey. Call them back, call them back. That's the only hope we have. Oh, not again. This has gone off. Oh. It has gone off. Hey. Hey. What's up now? Why are you off the phone? You know how we'll make money from this opportunity. This is not opportunity. This is trap. Trap. It was the prince of Akbadan that called me. This phone belonged to his wife who has gone missing. 
Are you not seeing the uh, trouble? If greed for money makes us show our face, we shall die in jail. You mean this phone belongs to the wife of Prince of Abadan? Abadan. And he got missing. How comes this phone take and bush? That's why I off the phone. Tomorrow, we shall simply go to Ekoka and say this phone. Whatever we make, we share it. Simple. Guy, 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 guy. No, be, no, be inside the thing, the thing now. This phone number will go through them. We will lose them. They will go back to the bush. We will See, if you want to avoid Satan. Satan! Satan, avoid this phone. Avoid it. See, we will go through this phone. We will go through this phone. We will go back to the bush. You have fulfilled all the traditional requirements to have this woman as your wife. Standing before the moon, I, Obuwe Zugo, the traditional head of the Obiako family, give you this, our daughter, Amaka, as your wife. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I needed to prove to them that I am deadly when it comes to politics. Now, I want to see that hurdle that will prevent us from putting the crown on his head tomorrow. What is the problem, my king? You can't continue like this. You don't seem to understand what I'm facing. Amaka, you are my wife now. And in all fairness to you, you are doing your best. Why then are you endlessly complaining? I am and will always be here for you. See my king. You are a king today. And people look up to you for direction and leadership. You have to be strong. It's not that easy. She was my wife. She was the love of my life. Do you know what it feels like to wake up each morning with the thoughts that she has been devoured by wild animals? But my king, Collins has told you countless times in my presence. I mean, we are not even sure that she has been devoured by wild animals. Disregard whatever Collins says. He has his own opinion about Obioman. Look at this objectively. What was her phone doing in the forest? These hunters you say you spoke to on her phone, did they confirm to you that they saw anything that suggests that she has been torn into shred by wild animals? It was all my fault. They asked me what I could pay. They demanded money. I would have told them a million naira or anything. No amount is too much for information on my wife. I didn't make them any promise. I didn't say anything. Instead, I went on about how I was a prince and how I could pay anything. They caught the phone on me and that was the last time the phone rang. You will be fine. But please, you need to overcome this. You can surely overcome it. My king! My king! The match has started. Arsenal is winning Chelsea. What have I done? I just came to tell you that the match has started. Do you have any sympathy for Chelsea? you come here telling me about football. I'm mourning my wife. 
I'm sorry, my king. Obefu de Lebona, you are the chief priest of this land, and I expect you to be bothered on the calamities happening in this land. Why are you not bothered? Can you stand before any deity to swear that I'm not bothered? I, I can swear with urgency. Obefu, I am the one that is bothered, and that is why I have gone to Enugu to consult with Dondi Owa, the SDB of Enugu, and those who shall go for on the way forward concerning the calamity suffering in our land. And what did he tell you? He referred me back to you. Let me repeat his exact words. Why are you in the abode of Ozo Oshambono? Making inquiries on what is happening in Abadani when the chief priest of Abadani is still alive. Yes. Those were his exact words. And what could you make from the great words of such great man? Very simple. What I make is that you have a role to play in all this. I am surprised that you are not playing the roles. I came here simply to ask you, Obwefi, please, play those roles. Then you may have to return to Ozo Boshangula and explain to him the reason why you have to banish a woman on the allegations of murder without seeking the opinion of the chief priest. I, 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 I don't understand what you mean by allegations of murder. Obwefi, they were not mere allegations. For she refused to eat the very food she served the king. That could only mean one thing, Obwefi. She actually poisoned the food. How dare you, Emiya Muldin, stand here or sit here to dictate for the gods? Have you come here to tell me what you know? Or to listen to me? Hey! Huh? Now leave. Huh? Leave! I'm not on the farm, Now! Leave! Why do I have this feeling that elders in council do not want to cooperate with me? That is wrong, your majesty, and you know it. You are our king, who has been very wonderful, like the father. Very wonderful. Yes. We are ever ready to cooperate with you. Then why do you find it difficult to believe me? This is exactly one year I lost my former wife. I believe all the calamities happening to us are as a result of the fact that we all have refused to give her a befitting burial. <laughs> her spirit is what is disturbing us. Uh, uh, your Majesty, with all due respect, I will not be part of a council that will make a terrible mistake. Please. Your Majesty, we made you king. And so far, you are doing wonderfully well as our king. You cannot cajole us into organizing a befitting burial for a woman that we cannot confirm authoritatively that she has died. Baron, why do you think you're meant to be? We cannot. You don't seem to get it here also. The hunters I called before the phone went dead and off confirmed that they picked the phone in the forest where the wild animals devoured her. Let us give her a befitting burial. That's my point. No, Your Majesty. I have to come in now because you are pressing to have your way. It cannot happen. That was a woman that was banished justly because of murder. She left in our presence to serve her banishment. Even if we are 100% sure that she died while serving her banishment. We, the people of Abadan, cannot disgrace our land by giving her big thing burial. No, they are not. Are they here, man? Are they here, man? And you are not with men, you men. Oh! Okay. What's it? What is it? What is it? No! What? What is it? Medically, there is nothing wrong with your king. Doctor. Is this some kind of joke or what? If there is nothing wrong with him medically, like you said, why then did he collapse? Yeah. And why is he on life support? Well, we have removed all life support issues on him. Because the solution to his problem is not here. Hey, 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 hey. Doctor, you are confusing us. Ha. If the solution to the problem of a sick man is not here in the hospital, where then is the solution? Ask him. Where? See? 
Hold on, because I have this feeling that you have difficulty in communicating. If money is a problem that you don't know how to tell us that we are going to pay, please come out clear and tell us how much. We, the elders of Abadan, we are capable of paying. Is there a way you can communicate to this doctor, doctor. that money is not our problem? Doctor, money is never the problem. Please, tell us what we want to pay. You see, this case is more cultural than medical. Meaning? Uh, we have diagnosed him completely. And father was not wrong with him. Even ordinary malaria. He could not attend anything. And he collapsed? Yes. Others, I suggest you take your king back to the palace and seek for the solution from within. Ichi also. It still sounds like a jigsaw puzzle to me, in the sense that if we take the king back to the palace, our people may rise up against us, eh? thinking that we brought the king back to the palace to die. But that, that is exactly what they will say. But you can't continue keeping him here. We have diagnosed him and we found nothing. We can't administer any treatment on him. Medically, he's okay. That's it. Haven't we reconciled what the chief priest said with that of the doctor? I am beginning to feel that we must have ignited the anger of the gods. So are you saying we should do what the king already suggested? I think... Uh, what did they suggest? That the problem we are facing now in this kingdom is because we have refused to give his devout wife a befitting barrier. In fact, he was very blunt when he said that the spirit of his devout wife is what is disturbing us. So I think the, the befitting barrier may actually be the way forward. <laughs> Don't tell me you are even giving that a second thought. There's no way we can give a befitting barrier to a banished woman. Is it possible? Uh, uh, Chief of my man. You see, if giving the woman a befitting barrier will save the situation, let's do it. Or better still, you people go back to the chief priest and press him. Press him. He's already angry with us. He spoke to me harshly for banishing the woman without consulting him. I've even lost the face to go back to him. Um, you see, your mama, I, 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 I want us to understand something. You weren't the only one that he spoke to. He spoke to me too. Oh. I also went to him, he spoke to me actually. Okay. But if you look closely, you will see there is sense in what Ishio Kuruya is saying. This man with the dead border is our priest. He is the one that's supposed to be guided off. So that he's angry, it makes no sense. We have to go to him and press him to solve the problem because somehow I believe he has a solution to this problem. Mm -hmm. You have a point. Yes. If you continue asking, continue asking, continue asking. Yes. You ask yes. You're right. Hi. What are we going to call this one now? What is this one? It's a wine. It's a wine. I don't even know what to say. I don't understand all this. Are you sure you don't have a hand in this? Oh, mother. How, how can you say that? How can I have a hand in the problem troubling my husband? Oh, where have you the one? The chief priest of Abadan. We salute you. I agree to you. <coughs> On behalf of all of us that committed the blunder of banishing the 
devout woman without consulting you. I apologize to you. Obuefu mm. Denebona, the chief priest of Abadani. Please forgive us and guide us. Mm. Your Obuefi. Before our king collapsed, he was trying to convince us that the problem facing our land is because his devout wife has not been given befitting burial. Yes. We, the elders and council, have already decided that there is no way we are going to organize a befitting burial for a banished woman. But now you have made it clear to us that our banishment order lacked merit because we acted without consulting you. Can we now organize a befitting burial for this divine woman to solve the problem in our land? No, Ronia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh, eh. Nico. Fear! The problem has nothing to do with the befitting burial. For we are not even sure that anybody was divorced. Yes. The truth is that the pregnancy of our new queen was not celebrated. And that is our problem. The chief priest confirms to us that we are having all these problems because we did not celebrate the pregnancy of the new queen. Uh, yes. Please tell us, the elders in council here, how many months pregnant you are to enable us to know the kind of celebration we shall organize. Boy, bye. Very simple. My elders, I am lost here. I am not pregnant. <laughs> Please, Your Majesty, I want you to understand that we mean well. Yes. Your husband is our king. And until that day he collapsed, he was doing remarkably well as a king. Yes. That he is lying there helpless on that sick bed is not good for us at all. Yes. It is not good for us. That is why we came here asking you for this confirmation. Please, give us this confirmation and we are going to organize this celebration immediately. To see him rise, because the celebration will see him rise from that sick bed. And I, I, let us make it for that clear to you that we are prepared to organize the celebration even today. Yes. Wow. Yes. Please, please, my elders. I understand what you all are trying to say. But the truth is that I am not pregnant. Hey. I know you are trying your best to see my husband rise up. And I most sincerely appreciate that. I I think you should make the chief priest look into this again. I I don't know if I'm permitted to say this here. Yeah, well, yeah, many most, yeah, many ah, most yes. You are permitted. Say it, please. As I'm standing here with you all, I am on my monthly cycle. Hey! 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 As at the time we confronted her, her monthly circle was on. Mm -hmm. What it means is that she is not pregnant. Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm I'm I know. Amaka, whom you married at night, is not pregnant. And can never be pregnant until you marry her properly. Yeah. Someone should send words to Uboe Fezugo. Tell him I'm disappointed in him. Obuefi, why are you deviating from the issue under discussion? I am not deviating. I am not deviating each year. In Abadan, marriage prayers are said during the day and not in the night. 
But you politicians have decided to politicize everything, including playing politics with the sacred sanctity of our tradition. That girl's marriage prayers were said at night, and that marriage was nullified by the gods. Ugo, if you please, you are you are confusing us. Are you saying that the same marriage we contracted at night to solve our problem has now become a problem for us? <laughs> <laughs> the woman that the late king blessed for his son who is now a king. The same woman you banished. The same one you are planning to give a befitting burial is not dead. Hey! Oh, no, yeah. Second, she is alive. <laughs> She left her body on the land with young pregnancy. And now she has delivered a son. A crown prince. A heir apparent to the throne in a strange land. Mm. Hmm. Get him and the arrival of that son ought to be greeted with a gun salute and a great equal of sound. These things were not done. And that is why calamity has befallen us. <laughs> Please. What should we do? She murdered our king, remember? She cannot enter this land. When you believe When is the here, Guru Bona? If you know Guru Guimano, yes, Anna, or yes, they hear Guru Guana. When they hear Guru Guana, say, Go, I know what I go, say, Go, say, Go, I know what I go, if you know Guru Guimano, Dana, a go, I know what I, if you know Guru Guimano, Dana, a go, I know what Dana, say, Go, when you say, Here, Guru Guana, a star will rise in the sky tomorrow. That star will guide you to where she is breastfeeding her child. Decide amongst you. Three of you will follow the star with gifts. Gifts to be offered to the woman. And the born king must return to the palace immediately to experience the God's salute and the great sound of Ikolo. Of course, he cannot return alone. He has to return with his mother because she is still breastfeeding her child. And as for what happened to the king, <laughs> after the gun salute and the sound of the ancient Ikolo, the truth will be revealed. <laughs> What kind of stupid wife are you to my son? Did you say stupid? Where did that go wrong, Your Majesty? How long did you expect to stay with him before you get pregnant? Huh? Sincerely, I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. Hey, just keep that pretense because you can't get me with that. You know, my husband once called you a strange woman. I think I'm beginning to see what he meant by that. Your Majesty, I am losing it. I mean, why are you calling me names? Why am I calling you names? Look at your husband. Lying down here helpless. And the elders said that they are going to do something. And up till now, they've not been able to do anything. And you've lived with him long enough to get pregnant. You are just a useless woman. Very stupid. Where did I go wrong? I have done everything as a good wife. What, what did I do? Where did I go wrong? What? Is this the kind of mother-in-law I got myself involved with? Did you see the Queen Mother on your way here? I saw her. She's with the elders downstairs. I have news for you. I have good news and I have bad news. And what is this bad news? Your marriage has been declared a nullity by the chief priest. That means 
that you are not married. Uh, what kind of worthless talk is that? It's not a worthless talk. If I were you, I would get my people to go to the chief priest and make a broader inquiry. My marriage took place in the night. That's why you've not conceived yet. Had the baby took place in the daytime, you would have been a mother by now. And, and what is this good news? What kind of a woman are you? You still have appetite for another? After all I said to you? Just confirm to me that you're indeed a strange woman. Collins? What did you just say? Nothing. Forget it. Your Majesty, all those things we did in order to beat the deadline, we are run as political moves made by kingdom politicians. By the chief priest. As it is now, that poor girl will never conceive unless we go back and marry her during the day. I hate this way feel the neighbor owner so much. I went to him to make inquiries, but he refused to speak. So why is he talking now? Your Majesty, I will advise you to be very, very mindful of the kind of things you say about the way feel the neighbor owner. The sheep priest of Abadan, or Kalamad or Kalamo, because whatever you say can backfire. Uh, as if I can. I hate that man. So much. Mm -hmm. Where are you going with that boss? Collins already briefed me that my marriage to the prince has been declared a nullity. They say I can't conceive a you people come back and marry me during the day. But you don't have to leave, my dear. I'm so sorry about what you heard, but now that the problem has been revealed, I promise you, my dear, we are going to solve it. You don't just have to leave. I'm sorry, but I've made up my mind already. I arrived here at night, and I'm leaving this night. I'm sorry. This is very magical. What are we going to call this? Hmm. I believe this process has a link with the gods. And even the ancestors. We must continue to follow the star till we get to our destination. The journey to salvage our land starts now. This very moment. Uja. Amaka, our daughter, came back to the family last night, saying that her marriage has been nullified. And I made inquiries from some of the elders that we were with in the meeting, and they've confirmed what we said. And were you told, I said, I am disappointed in you? Yes, Itie Uzu said so, and I was wondering why. Mm -hmm. When your mother was married, was it under the sun or under the moon? I wasn't briefed, but I believe it's under the sun. I see. Ever since we have been given our women in marriage, has it been a record that a woman has been blessed for marriage? Under the moon? Oh, we feel the neighbor now. I need to make a clarification here. I was not the person that initiated the move. In fact, it was um, Ichie Uzu that initiated the move. He said that without the prince being married, he will not be crowned king. And you believe in politician without consulting the chief priest is something that borders on succession to the throne. The quantity. Where does you go? I am disappointed in you. Uwefi, please, I came to see the way forward. If we now bless this marriage during the day, 
will she be able to conceive for her husband? Well, three elders of this land are already following the star of the king. And they will return with the born king to the palace. Then after the revelation that will follow the gun salute and the special echo sound, the king, who is now lying sick at the mercy of our ancestors, will be the very one to decide whether he needs a new wife. Please, I need your help. How do we help you? Um, I'm looking for someone that lives around here. He's a native doctor. Native doctor? Yeah. Here in Aguku, we have a lot of native doctors. Exactly. Do you know the name of this particular person you're looking for? Um, his name is Obalo. 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 Here. You got someone? Hmm. We just saw his widow down the road. John right there, you see his house. Hey, Kapu. Who will search the woman be doing with that like kind of uh, obalo? Because much poor. See, let me tell you, the beautiful women are now the ones patronizing native doctors. This double name malo, okay, malo. You go on, I go. Because they are. He was shouting as he was dying. From what we gathered, something he gave someone to kill a woman was mistakenly placed and it killed a man instead. He paid the penalty for that mistake. He died with a man that was killed by mistake. When was that? 17 November. The 17th day of November is indeed the saddest day of my life. I lost my father. Now my wife who should console me has been banished. Where did I go wrong? Same date. What is going on? What do you mean by the same date? Do you know anything about the untimely death of my husband? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know your husband. And we never met. I'm just, um, I'm feeling your pain. And I know that you've been consoled already. My condolence, my dear. Thank you, ma. 
Judging from what happened already, I will advise you to forget about the palace. We made a mistake to have married you to that man. Try and forget them and reinvent yourself. Your own man is coming very soon. Um, I'm sorry, Uncle, but I'll have to cut you short. I am not bothered about what happened. Neither am I playing anymore. I take the whole blame. I will invent myself as you have advised. Thank you for your concern. I'm really grateful. Thank you. I am here to see my friend, Nkoleka. The wife of Ilo Akasia of Enu village. Is this not her house? And she is the same person I'm talking about. She died last year after her husband married me and she said that she died of bottle that termination. And she should not even be buried in this village. She died of bottle what? Abomination. What is the meaning of that? Hey, John, I don't know you personally. I don't know the meaning. Not the queen of Abadan. No, no. No, no. Why are you disguising yourself? No, no. No. Are you sure of what you say that she's the queen? What was she discussing with you? What did she come here to do? I was there when she came looking for my new Jamai on the twice. And I told her what happened. That is all. What is it? What is the meaning of this? What could she be doing in our house? the meaning of this. We should have come with a car. Do you know we are already in Namanuke? And still, we don't know where the bunking is. Seriously, I, I, I am beginning not to see the wisdom in this. We say we are the wise men that are traveling for Abaran Abaran, and we are not seeing the wisdom. This journey now we are embarking on. Finally, we may see ourselves with old torture or even Kogi. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that has not taken away the wisdom in us. We don't need a car for all this important journey. If we had come in a car, how would we have followed the star judiciously? Not to talk of crossing the uh, Njaba River that we already crossed. Huh? Let us. Let us behave ourselves, please, before we begin to digress. Did you just see what happened? Huh? You see, the star just collapsed on that house. That could be where they are. Okay, follow me. Let's figure it out. It's becoming interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. 
This is the place. Yes, yes it is. This is the place. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Who are you to do? I kneel before you with this gift of the few. Your son is our coming king that we must welcome with gone salute. I kneel before you with this gift of Otangel Ndibwe, an ancient gift of Abada and the people that opens the eyes of their friends and mighty women of valor. For you to nurse our coming king in a strange land means you are qualified for this gift. Please accept it from my hand. Don't say no. I kneel before you with the gift of Akupe Ka Akupe. The gift of Abada and the people to their mighty women of valor. The word of evil people and spirits. Your son is our coming king that we must welcome in Abada and with sound of ancient equal. Three of us here are plead with you to get ready. You are coming with us to Abwadani, for you must continue to breastfeed our coming king. The woman that murdered the king must proceed on banishment. And never to be seen anywhere around Abwadani as we lower the king in the next three days. And then they find the way forward for our kingdom. Was he able to eat anything? He refused to eat your majesty. But he managed to speak today. What did he say? He said I should go and get him his wife. And what did you tell him? I told him the wife left the palace in the night. And after that, he went back and has not said anything since then. Helen. Amaka. I just came into the palace and they said your husband got up and asked after you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I don't know what that means. I don't have a husband. I am still waiting for my husband. Are you out of your mind? You're talking to the Queen. I know it's you, Your Majesty. But we have to tell ourselves the truth. I mean, my uncle went to the chief priest and he confirmed that my marriage to the prince was a nullity, for it happened at night. 
that means I was never married. I'm sorry, but if your son is looking for his wife, then you have to go find her. I am not the one. Oh, come on, Amaka. After all I promised you, come off this pretense. He is your husband. You are his wife. Come to the palace immediately, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I am not the one. I wish to end this call now. Hello? If she's not his wife, who is his wife? Hey? Your Majesty, maybe he meant his wife. I mean, the original wife. Collins, Your Majesty, you are very sick. I'm sorry, Mother, but what you are asking me to do is impossible. I have already obeyed you by going out to collect their debts. But that is as far as it goes. That's all I can do. No, my dear. You must do more. You must forget the past. You must forgive them for banishing you. Seeing they have realized their error and came back to apologize, you must go back with them to Abadan. Sincerely, God will be mad at you if you refuse to forgive these people. Mother, do you know what they did? They set me up. I was never involved with the politics of Agbadan. I was only but a poor orphan with no hope. And then mysteriously God remembered me and made me the crown princess. Wife to the heir to the throne. I served the king. And he loved me so much. He said I was the best thing that ever happened to that palace. And then one day he conspired and killed him and turned around to say it was I that murdered him. How in the world can I ever trust them? I believe everything you told me. But I want you to know something, that God is still God. Remember all the things I taught you since you came into my life 18 months ago? The ways of the Lord the way of the cross, the way of forgiveness. I volunteer to take you back with them. Gabata, you can leave right now if you are ready. Yes, I hail you, my ancestors. Finally. Okay. Where are you going? Yeah. Where is it? What I'm hearing now is the sound of ancient Iko of Awadane. My father told me about that Iko. It may not sound right, but it's the most powerful music in this Awadane land. For everybody's hearing the sound now as I'm talking to you. Ah, are you serious? Uh, I'm not serious. No. Where is the Ikoro? I'm up the Ikoro. Ikoro is where it is now. See, see, see. Do you know that? That Ikoro now, eh? Mm. 
if you approach the guru, you will discover that no one is playing it. Hey, yeah? It's our ancestors who are playing the guru. Our ancestors are the ones playing the guru. Huh? And when we hear the sound, all men of goodwill will move to the palace. And that is what I'm going to now. Are you coming with me? No, no, you said all men of goodwill. Uh -uh. All men of bad will. You didn't hear me. Okay. Are you a man of goodwill? You, you, you want to leave what you are doing? You want to go, go to, the, uh, to the palace? Yeah, all men of good. My friend! Are you coming with me a dossier or not? All men of good will. Are you staying now? You're going to kill you. All men of good will. All men of good will. Ah, ah, ah. Am I a man of bad will? I'm a man of good will. Ah. Am I a man of bad will? What? Come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. Yes. The gold salute is finally here. The gold salute will finally reveal the truth. My ancestors are the truth. it was the sound of the ancient echo and now the cannon what is going on Come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. I don't want to go and lose your mind. I don't go and do my daily job. 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 I don't go I gave you a little bit of 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 a
I know you would want to challenge this innocent maiden. But they are not such, for you have been challenged by the gods. What is going on here? And what is the gun for? Who approved of the sound of the ancient Ikolo? What is she doing now, my son? Who is the owner of that child you're carrying? All the people connected to your evil have been killed by the gods. They left you alive because you deserve more than just death. The gods of Abadani are not there. She owe you nothing. She has forgotten all the wickedness you showed on her. She's going to bless you. That is what I don't ever want to hear. Eh? She is caused from that. She cannot bless me. She can bless you. And she's going to bless you. I want her to die. She can never be a blessing to me. I came with some money. Tell me what to pay and consider it paid. I can pay as much as 20,000 Naira. Dada. Take this. Drop the content in what she's going to eat. Okay. If she eats it, in less than 30 minutes, she's going to die. Because it's going to damage her liver, kidney, and heart. When he works for you, come back and pay me. Check. Thank you very much. Also, you see, my dear, I sent everyone out of this house so that we can talk confidentially. But you know that my husband or my son my working on an house. So go straight to the point. My way. If you are not a warrior, you may have some difficulties doing what I am going to tell you. Say it first. You never can tell what I will do. My queen. This bottle will do the magic. Drop it into what she will eat and watch what will happen. Deny that you are not the one that poisoned the Akiri, that finally killed the king. I know nothing of what you're talking about. I am the queen of this land and you cannot cajole me into something I know nothing about. I forbid you to move an inch. For a fowl that swallows a needle will never live to boast of it. When the elders wrongly banished this innocent maiden, they denied her her request to pick the pendant which she inherited from her mother. The greatest of all the possessions in her life.
I hereby banish you justly, for you are evil. You are an evil woman. You are an evil woman in all ramifications. From where you are standing, proceed on banishment to an unknown land. Never to return to Abaddon till death. You are justly banished for your evil. Now leave the palace. Move. Move. Yeah. 